Cheers, everyone. How's everybody out there doing today? It's great to see you. Welcome to the channel. I'm Susan Swanson, and I am hyped up on coffee this morning, you guys, but I got some really cute homes to show you like these here. This one is a double wide with a carport for 10 grand. This little cutie is $3,000, and look at this. This little single, the guy's eyes are popping out of his head because this little single is only a thousand dollars so let's learn more about these homes and more in today's episode and we're going to head into florida we're headed to the beautiful area of st petersburg so grab a coffee grab a tea and grab that cocktail because it's five o'clock somewhere especially in the state of florida so let's get moving and check out these homes and more and they're all under thirty-five thousand. it's good to see everybody how y'all doing out there today if you're new here, you're welcome to subscribe to this channel. This is where we are venturing through state to state, through town to town, to see just how much house or home we can get for our money. And today we're looking in the beautiful, beautiful area of St. Petersburg. And I saw these homes pop up, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to share these. And we're going to start right here. So we're starting in the higher price point of $35.9. And this is a cute little single. And uh, this one is Unit 262 on Bay Street. It's a one-bedroom, one-bath for... Uh, it's been in the market for 19 days. This is a 67 model, so let's check it out, see what we get. Looks really cute. I like the landscaping. This looks like it could be um, a chefalera that could be cut down. It could be removed if you didn't want it in there because it kind of is a little obtrusive with that little patio entrance, but nice landscaping boxes nonetheless. Ooh, look how cute this is. Looks like it has some nice updates. Black appliances, dishwasher, microwave on the counter, nice bathroom. Nice tile, got an assist handle here on both walls, very nice. I like the built-ins there, that's handy. And these singles, I've mentioned it many times that if you, you know, if you walk in one, I think you may be surprised to see much more space than you might expect from looking at them from the outside. And I like these older 60s models. And they got dual closets in this one, then space saver drawers, that's very nice. Uh, probably jealousy windows, which are cranks, I'm guessing, with this year. That's your lanai. That's very nice space. These are probably acrylics, which would be vinyl acrylic windows that uh, slide open to the left or to the, and close to the, or open to the right, close to the left. Got a concrete floor there that could be painted if you didn't want it gray. This is a very cute home. And this one, again, is Unit 262 in St. Petersburg. Charming one bedroom, one bath, nestled within a great community, offering ample entertaining space inside and out. Uh, let's see, 55 plus community of Gateway, offers a large heated swimming pool, lake view, spa, shuffleboard, courts, and a clubhouse, hosting a multitude of resident events. Now, Gateway, uh, I do have a page open for that. This is Gateway. This would be the location of it here in St. Pete. So you're right off of 92, 687. And Gateway, I do believe, let me see what it says here about the Gateway Park. I'm trying to see what the lot rent was here. Uh, let me just punch in something here. Gateway Mobile Home Park lot rent. Let's see here. And come on, 450 to 725 per month is what it says here. So we're looking at $450 to $725 per month for this single for $35.9. So not too bad at all. Okay, so moving on from that one there. We are looking at this one. This takes it right down in price to $24.9. This one, I believe, might be the same community, but this one says the HOA is $589. So let me go down here. Um, this one might be Roberts. Let's see. Oh, no, this is Isle of Palms. Okay. So this one is a one bedroom, one bath, little under 500 square feet of space. Does have the nice lanai there, and it does have the carport. Nice flooring. And these might be vertical windows. I don't see jealousy cranks. Nice kitchen. I like the little island there. You've got pendant lighting. There's your little dog door. Looks like the kitchen's been updated. And if you didn't want these tax strips, you could remove them. You could put wainscoting up. You could paint this if you didn't want the interior the way it currently is or live in it the way it, it looks very nice. Nice white appliances. I like that. It makes it look crisp and clean. There's the bathroom. Looks like it has dual sinks. And if you do have a walker or any kind of assistance for walking, you want to double check the hallway width 
some of these older homes, the width of the hallways are not that wide. That's a very nifty vanity. So there's your tub and shower. Do you have an assist handle there? It's quite a bit to, you know, to walk into that tub, but that could be removed if you didn't need it. If you needed a walk-in shower. Okay, so here is an issue. Let's look at this closer. Let me move myself out of the way here. This mark right here. This tells me that there might have been some leakage in from the roof or maybe the walls outside the home. This is, that's concerning. It's not staining, but it's definitely warped. Um, I've seen where these, the paper's been removed and interior has been moved out of, uh, removed from this type of situation. New insulation can be put in there. Uh, wainscoting can be put over the wall. Uh, it can be repaired, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. Not the end of the world. So that is definitely noticeable. There's your hot water heater. Very nice lanai, adds a lot of space. There's your carport. This doesn't look too bad at all for $24,900. Does have downspouts. There's your back door. There's your AC unit. This is lot 124 in St. Pete. Isle of Palms and um, 589 is the lot rent for this particular home. Let's see if there's any history. Yeah, it was listed in September of last year for 29.9. Then it was removed. Then it was removed. Then it was relisted, and now it's down to 24.9. So 589 Isle of Palms in St. Petersburg, and a price of 24.9. Not too bad. Okay, moving on from there. Let's check this one out. This one is $15,000. This is off of Gandhi Boulevard North, lot 586. Been on the market a while, and this is an 87 model, 15 grand. Cute, though. Looks like a park model. It's vinyl sided. It's got a nice, does not have a carport, but that is your side parking and your patio. There's your AC unit. Ceramic tile in the lanai area. That's very nice. You step up to the main living. There's your washer and dryer. Wow. I wonder why this one's been on the market so long. And again, you know, when you're in these the area of St. Petersburg, if you want to go check these out with the listing agent, you're going to see and be able to tell a whole lot more about the home than what we see here in pictures. You're always welcome or should be to have a home inspection. And uh, you want to check the floors. You want to check the flooring beneath the commodes. You want to check your wiring, your plumbing, your AC, your heat, so on and so forth. But this one does not look bad at all. It's obviously could be an issue because it's been on the market for so long, but maybe not. Nice kitchen. Very nice. Beautiful flooring. There's your built-ins. The, this is more like a park model. It's not going to be huge, but looks like it. Looks like you could move right in there. And again, if you didn't need the tub, you could remove this. I like the skylight there. And uh, you could remove that tub, put a walk-in shower in there. Cool wallpaper. There's your paneling in the bedrooms. It looks like they're using their mobile phones for these photographs. So it probably would show better in person. Looks very nice. So again, this one is off of Gandhi Boulevard, lot 586 in St. Petersburg. And this one is in... These people, these agents, don't even list these communities any longer. They barely give me any information. I think this one is in... Roberts mobile home park and I have a yeah I'm pretty sure it's in Roberts and the mobile home lot rent in, or the lot rent in this park is let's see here I 575 to 725 is what it would be for this particular park so not too terrible of lot rent either for those of you who want to pay under 800 under 750 this could be in the lower this could be on the lower spectrum in the 525 so this one is off of Gandhi Boulevard in St. Pete, 33702. Any history? Oh, yeah. A lot of history. It was sold in 2021, February of 2021, three years ago for $14,000. Then it was listed just a few days later for $24,900. Then it was removed. Then it was relisted. Then it was removed. Oh, my goodness. And now it's been relisted for $15,000. And they bought it for $14,000 three years ago. So it always is helpful to read the history when you're trying to purchase a home like this or any other for that matter. And again, you can have a home inspection. One bedroom, one bath for $15,000 in the lower lot rent. Not bad. Okay, moving on from there. This one is another 24-9 home. 
Uh, lot 212 in St. Pete's, been on the market for 80 days. Two bedroom, one bath with a nice lanai and a carport. Love the singles because they always have more space than you would expect. This one looks really nice. Very nice and clean. Not too bad. Look at that. Very nice. I like this. I love white. Can you tell I love white? It's just clean. It's classic. It never goes out of style. You can match it to anything. If you didn't want black appliances, you could always replace them with stainless or white. It would give it a seamless appearance if they were all white and not the black. The eye kind of draws right to the black, but that's neither here nor there, really. They are just appliances. It does match the countertop. Look at the flooring shine. This is very clean. Um, I don't see jealousy, so they might be newer windows. There's your AC unit in the wall. Laminated flooring. Look at this beautiful lanai. This adds, the lanais on these homes add so much more square footage. And even when it's hot out, if you add some fans, you can enjoy the lanais in Florida year round. They're such a nice, it just provides so much nice space. Especially if you have guests over and you want to keep the, fuss and muss and you know the mess out there it's nice looks like the commode might have or the bathroom might have some updates again you can paint paneling if you want to switch this up and spruce it up and modernize it some there's another window ac unit there's your community it looks very nice we see that it has a pool the clubhouse the shuffleboard very nice again this was lot 212 24 9 Pelican Palms, which I do have a tab open for Pelican Palms, and it is right here, and theirs is some of the lot rent here. It looks like it could be, that's the right one, $575. Yeah, it says the lot rent for some of these homes is $575, so it could be $575. There's another one to $775, so under $800, and that is this home right here. That is $24,900, and it is a two-bedroom, one-bath. 55 plus gated community, very nice, and uh, has a clubhouse, shuffleboard, laundry facilities, and this one, you're allowed pets, two dogs, up to 20 pounds. Oh, I'm sorry, the lot rent for this one is $8.25, including your trash, your lawn care, and your amenities. So most likely, depending on where the home is situated in the community, your lot rent could be less, but this one is $8.25. Okay, very nice home nonetheless, very pretty. All right, moving on to this one. This is the $10,000 double that we saw in the intro. This is a new listing. This is a two-bedroom, two-bath with 860 square feet. Uh, this is a 1979 model. Oh, but let's go back to this other one real quick. That one was a 67 model. This one is a 79 model, and this doesn't make any sense. Plenty of space in the kitchen, dining area, large living room, two-car parking, covered driveway, and a front porch. And it was sold in November of last, of two years ago in 23 for 37000 Then it was sold a month later for 29000 Then it was removed. Then it was changed. Then it was listed now for $10,000. So not sure what's going on with this one, obviously. But again, a home inspection will speak volumes. So let's take a look. Doesn't look too terrible. Kind of odd. The vertical striping on the cabinets kind of draws your eye right to it. But again, that's... that's Something that can be changed. Does have laminated flooring here. Open up the curtains and it would brighten up the room for the photograph. Just saying. Uh, here's more paneling that could be painted. It looks like it does have, uh, I thought maybe, tub and shower combination. Does have shelving above the commode. Looks like the vanity has been updated. It's like a grayish periwinkle color interior. Ceiling looks good. This home is in that Pelican Palms mobile home park. It's a 55 plus park. It's only been on the market a few hours. It's a 79 model and again, it's $10,000. Two bedroom, two bath with just under 900 square feet of space. And it does have that really nice carport there. And your landscaping box, so a lot can be done with this one. And uh, before I forget, I wanna show you the St. Pete Pier. It's more than just a pier, it's an experience. It's been renovated and it sits on 26 beautiful acres and peaceful blue waters of Tampa Bay. So it's just a gorgeous area. They have a lot of art museums in St. Pete. The Salvador Dali Museum is there. I've seen fun concerts right there on the water. They have a bike uh, a bike weekend there from Burt's Harley-Davidson down in Port Charlotte. 
um, over there by the Twisted Fork. They sponsor a lot of these events. So St. Uh, St. Petersburg is just a really cool area. Has around 258,000 people, and I think the median age is like 43, 44 years young. So this just gives you some information on the pier. It's just a cool, cool spot there. And, of course, depending on which route you take, it's really not that far from Sarasota. So, yeah, really cool, beautiful, nice renovations there. Okay, so moving on. Here is the $3,000 home that was in the intro. This one is in the same community, Pelican Palms, same lot rent. And even though this one has been on the market for 17 hours, this is a 59 model and does not tell us much. It says it's a rehab home, covered driveway, two-car parking, and the large closed-in lanai area, which would be your Florida room here. Doesn't look too terrible at all. Landscaping needs some attention. The windows look like they're in good shape. Now, this one doesn't look half bad. Of course, a home inspection, and when you're in there to see it personally, you can see more. But I want to show you, even though these are rehab homes, uh, this is one that I had listed and sold a few years ago. All of these older singles may have the same potential this one had and does, and this sold immediately upon listing it. It was just so coastal chic. So she, um, the seller had done a very nice job, very simple, simplified in the front, Nice potted plant. So this is a little patio area in the front. And then when you walked in the home, this was the front floor to room lanai. And then you had an area in the front and the rear to walk up to the main part of the home. Through these French doors, she created a private patio in the back. And there was a staff washer and dryer behind this TV unit. It was just really well done. And it has a lot of furniture in the home. But again, this is a late 50s model. And it just showed really well. They did a great job. There's the beautiful kitchen. It was just really nice. There's the one bedroom. So I believe that, you know, all of these homes could have the same potential and could be just as nice. And, of course, you'll learn more when you get in there. But if you're in St. Pete and you're looking for a budget find, this $3,000 home might suit your needs. And there is no history on this. Yeah, it was just listed for the $3,000, and it's a rehab home, 59 model. Okay, moving on from this one here, we have the $1,000 buy for the day. This one is a 59 model. It's only been on the market for 20 hours. It's $1,000, and it's a one-bedroom, one-bath. It looks like it does have a window unit here for your AC, and it has the carport. Now, the listing says it has a lanai, and yeah, large covered lanai. They must be talking about the carport. And it's a rehab home, one bedroom, one bath. But again, when you get in there, you might find the potential, just like the home that I showed a few minutes ago. And uh, yeah, so that they must be considering this the lanai. It's not screened in. And then you have the carport. And it probably has jealousy windows since it is a 59 model. But it's $1,000 and the lot rent is $775 or less. So there are some pretty good budget finds in St. Petersburg. $35,000, $25,000, $10,000, $3,000, or $1,000. So cheers to that. Hope you guys are having a great day. So this is a fun one to explore. And if you haven't done so, you can check out the previous videos. There's one about Anna Maria Island. There was some really, I think it was a $5,000 home that I showed there. And then there's a community called Happy Haven in Osprey, Florida. There was a home there for $8,800. So you can check those out. They have lower lot rents also. So I hope you guys are having a great day. You're always welcome to subscribe to the channel. So until next time, till another state of interest, keep those cups full of happiness. And it's great to see you. Stay safe, stay aware, and you guys definitely stay tuned. Cheers.